all right everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be looking at the 15 worst dvd and blu-ray covers from over the years um these are just won't be a countdown from 1 to 15 or 15 to 1 uh these are in no particular order as i just narrowed down to 15 because you could have picked loads more because there's a few in here that um Money in the Bank, Night of Champions, where the spoil the covers with putting the winners on them and things, uh, a few summer slams and that sort of thing. So it was a bit. I didn't want to really put them all down into one massive long video, so I put it down to fifteen, and I chose the worst fifteen I could choose from. To be honest, um, I know a few over the years who have been mentioning some of the covers when they've been doing reviews and things. Since I started YouTube, the some of these actually in there that are still up to the to like to this day so there won't be in any particular order so let's get straight into this and the first one it is vengeance 2006 um, i've never really liked this cover um it got worse over time and i don't see the point in just putting the dx over the front of it yes i know the they were coming back then but even if you take that away it just a very plain cover um didn't really like it um i thought it would have been better if they put something like that along the front or if they put like a uh, the green background to them so it looks like they glow glowing from behind might have been a lot better but it's just something that i thought they could have done way better on doing it and the next one it is the most powerful families in wrestling yeah there's not many comps and docs in this it's just many peer view so but this one they could have done so much better it's nothing much into it it's um just really plain i say throughout all of it it's just a black and gray rather than putting people on it i say just i was hoping so much more from when this came out when i first heard about it i thought they were gonna put loads of other families on the front cover going down the mcmahon's and everything but nothing so that's another one that sort of bugs me they could have done a lot better on. The next one. There's a lot of money in the banks in these as I said before. Uh, this one, just no imagination gone into this. It's just a quick five minute job. And it's a bit like the all the, merely all the money in the banks. Um, I think 90% of them have got the winners on the front or on the spines and there's n just no real thought gone into them at all. It's just a quick five minute job to put them together and that's it and put them away. So that is another one. The next one. Another one has any thought gone into it is No Mercy 2003. I mean there's a few in... 2003 actually i actually like there's a few that i don't but it's mainly the ones that i do like and obviously with the spine and everything and i think that bugs me is insurrection goes in there i mean it doesn't match up that's another one that really bugs me but say the one they could have done loads better than just putting that on there so that is no mercy the next one is no way out 2005 which is JBL on top of the cage, which is another one, just the quick cover to do. Maybe even nothing on the spine, just the logo, uh, which was most of the 2005s, which is just the logo on the front anyway, on the spine, should I say. But another one, just no imagination going into the cover whatsoever. The next one is the raw 100 just a black cover with just raw 100 on the front it's very plain and i wish they would have gone with something like that on the on round it or something like that just put that on the background with the raw 100 going across it i say there's been uh, that's another series that has probably annoyed me is just the raw the raw 100 uh, obviously the raw 20 uh, just the plane with just the raw 100 and raw 20 on them with no imagination going to it um, the only one I really like is the 15th anniversary one 
I have the raw ones and that goes into the next one which is the raw 10th anniversary I mean that could have been the cover straight away it would made it loads better than what that is there and say this that's the only raw one it's the 15th anniversary one I actually like but to say if that was the main cover it would have made it look 10 times better so there is the raw 10th anniversary and the next one is one night stand extreme rules 2007 um there's not many that i've had like with the just the faces on the front um obviously the some have worked like the finn balor the fiend uh, the undertaker and kane and things but i think what bugs me overall for this one is that with the face being different toned obviously it's like on one side it just looks like it's been left in the sun too long and that that part just faded i think that's the biggest downfall what it actually looks like so there's one night stand the next one it is summer slam 2004 and as you can tell there's not much effort gone into that one as well it's just stuck them on there and that's it obviously the other one where benoit and randy Orton match has been took off it and it's just the undertaker and jbl the summer slam logo which again doesn't look too good so another one that has been that bugs me about that one the next one it is vengeance 2011 obviously with the mark henry picture ring, uh, the ring breaking um and again it just spoils what happens and i'd say it's yes it's a shocked moment but really to put it on the cover i, I don't really think so so that is another one that really annoys us uh, i'm going to save the other the best two till last shall i say because i think will be most people's the next one it is the greatest rivalries sean versus brett don't get us wrong hell of a set great set but even the back there's nothing much to it and again why couldn't they have done what they did in the in the um inside I have it like a scrapbook sort of style on the front that would have been so much better but i say it just it's a, as i said it's a great set but why couldn't they have done it like a scrapbook feel for the front it would have made it loads better now we're coming out the final four and it is backlash 2003 and again such simple artwork it could have been so much better i mean goldberg was coming in obviously because we saw it from wrestlemania 19 and they just thrown a cover together which is the basis on it doesn't really work very much and uh, this is the one that it doesn't really work for me next one money in the bank 2012 and again it's as i said money in the bank clash of champions um, Night of Champions, they all spoil them near enough, and this one is a particular one. I mean, another recent, was it, I think it was the recent Money in the Bank, the last two. I don't think they really spoil the covers, but on the spine they do. They have the winners on the spine, but that is a, a super annoyance when they do put the outcome of the matches on them. So, yeah, guys. And the final two, uh, which one did I say? I'll put this one, this one, this one first. Fatal four way. This was shocking, and obviously the cover <laughs> matches that. It just no creativity at all. Just slap that on and stick the logo on, and that's it. It's just completely shocking, in my opinion. And I'm not going to say too much on that because I'm ranting on it. And last but last not least, I'll be most people's, and it is. SummerSlam 2010 and where do you start you, you can't start nowhere I mean you could have put like the steel book that would have been put the, the steel book was just a logo with the black that black round and in the middle that would have been made it even 10 times 15 times better but just a shot of them when they first get in the ring as the cover yeah as I've heard people say they could have put them like they'd have bragging rights and all the wrestlemanias put them in a line looking at each other 
that might have been better but the steel book what I've got where it's just the SummerSlam logo with the light and dark orange stripes that would have made it 10 times better so I think this is probably top of most people's lists of the worst covers but yeah guys that is all of them I'll just quickly put them all together so that is the list of if I look at them at the stand I don't think they will but that is the my 15 that I narrowed down to say so it, it could have gone on and on of the worst covers but these are the ones that stand out the most to me obviously everyone's will be different most people will have similar ones so I thought we'd do this the I've been wanting to do this video for a while so yeah guys which ones would you pick drop a comment down below which one would you take out which ones would you add which ones which are top five worst or 15 or if you've done a video let me know and as always please like subscribe comment and i'll catch you in the next one